this is uh, probably one of the very few, if not the only site in the world right now, in which you have human remains from uh, 100,000 years ago under excavation. So this is very unique, and it's one, today one of the three or four most important sites for study of human evolution and behavior uh, during the Paleolithic uh, time. So we have found uh, several human skeletons which are lying in a flexed, flexed position, which is uh, usually uh, interpreted as a, as a burial position. And some of them have some uh, burial uh, goods with them, like uh, antlers or basalt pebbles, which are brought from a distance. So there is something special about these uh, people. One of the uh, human habits which we all have today is a burial habit. We know that we are always taking care of our dead, or we treat of them, and we are uh, burying them. Okay? But this is a quite new habit in the history of the humanity, and it starts about 100,000 years ago here in our region, and this place in Shemit Cave is one of the earliest sites, together with two other sites. One of the causes of this uh, uh, interaction was uh, behavioral innovation that we see during this period of time. And one of these innovations is uh, burials. So what we think that uh, this uh, interaction, that we can see clear evidence for cultural transmission or for more knowledge transmission between different populations, probably uh, led not only to uh, learning and transmission, but also to some pressure. This is a, a chunk of ochre uh, a material which, from which they produced a color, a red color. And probably they use it in order to paint themselves or their bodies. How many ribs do you have there? What we can see now here that actually all our the region was kind of interconnected. It was a net, and people were very mobile, and the population were interconnected, and they were bringing materials from uh, uh, different uh, directions.